Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. <sighs> so, um, before I get started, how are y'all doing? Comment below. Um, if you are new here, please tell me. Say I'm new. It's me. Hello. Um, I just want to say hi. Let's conversate down in the comments. Um, we don't do that too often. I do reply to my comments. However, um, I'm just going through some things right now and which are amazing. God is so good. If y'all don't know who God is, you need to get him in your life. And I'm not preaching, but if you want a life of blessings and just continued like covering, get to know Jesus, get to know God. Read your Bible, read your word, do a devotion. Um, I am a Christian and I'm not afraid to talk about it. So yeah, but God is good. So um, you guys been ask, asking questions in the comments and I thought I would just come on here and like do a video about your questions. And I would love to interact with you guys on Instagram as well. Here's my Instagram handle right here. Um, follow me over there because I want to start doing lives where I did a live not too long ago over there and it's still posted. I still have it up, but I want to interact with you and answer your questions live. And I believe Instagram is the best platform for that because it's convenient, if that makes sense. Um, I don't have to go into YouTube studios and I don't have to create a, pro I don't, it's, it's a little bit more in depth with YouTube lives versus just hitting the button on Instagram and I'm live, but, um, please go follow me over there. And if you do follow me over there, leave me a DM and saying, Hey, I'm new. I'm following. I'm here. I'm for it. And let me know what days will work for you for me to go live evenings, mornings, um, and what day so we could make like a date and we could have like some coffee and or some tea I don't drink coffee but tea and you know you could drink your coffee wine we could have it like wine o'clock ultrasound Wednesdays I don't know however I know when I first started I used to do a video every Wednesday on ultrasound Wednesdays and I thought that would be kind of cool to reopen that up as a live so wednesday works for me evenings or mornings i would totally like devote you know devote my time to you guys if that's something that you guys want to do um but yeah like let's do it how are you guys feeling nowadays with you know did anybody get that new nasty little variant thing um my family has been covered thank God. And we just been a recluse. <laughs> we don't go out too often. We don't go to, I don't go nowhere other than work and home. My kids are both being homeschooled. So they don't even go and socialize in school. Um, I did have my oldest one, but when they returned back from winter break, I pulled him. My husband and I made the executive decision to pull him and just keep him at home and just to be safe. So they are both being homeschooled and I am actually in the process of looking for a traveling assignment, possibly, um, where we could travel to different states and see how that venture goes. So definitely you guys will be going along with me if I do choose to do that. Um, but I'm talking about it. I'm working with some agencies and if you know the agencies they were in my previous videos and I always will link them down below the three trusted ones that I have worked with and that I know that you know have treated me right um so they're always down in my description box so um but yeah like so without further ado my name is Tamika and I do lifestyle and ultrasound videos on my channel um and that will kind of like segue into my next little update. My channel, 
I'm a family girl. I'm a family woman. I'm a family wife. I'm a family mother. I like, I love my family. And so I want to start doing family, more family vlogs. I did have a couple They're They're there, but my channel is just going to turn into what I want to post. If it's ultrasound, it's ultrasound. If it's not, if it's cooking, I love sharing cooking recipes and cooking with the family and cooking with, you know, little uh, segments there, here and there. And then I also like to like, video my family like little outings we may go on um things like that and ultrasounds bring you guys to work a day in the life if i go to target if i what i buy shopping hauls so i will be doing more of those videos just whatever i want to do it's like my channel will be very eclectic and you know all over the place but um, if you're here for it, you're here for it. If you're not, that's okay too. But I want to show you guys more of just ultrasound. And I want to show you the life that ultrasound can actually enhance. Like how ultrasound, working in ultrasound can actually enhance your life. You know, um, my husband and I are still looking for our home. We're still trying to buy. California, you know, is so expensive. However, um... It's not necessarily the expense thing. I just will choose. We've discussed this. We have a budget with our home, and we don't want to go over that. And uh, we've actually like concluded on what type of home we want, but not sure. We might be moving. We might stay in California. We, we're not sure yet, but we are discussing that, and we'll see where God leads us. Um, but, yeah, so I think it would be kind of cool to see like I have a video coming up um, next week that shows like what I spend in a day or is it a week? Um, I think it's like what I spend in a day as an ultrasound traveler. Um, I just wanted to put that out there and see, you know, what I do in a day, like spending money. What do I do um, while I'm on the road? So that video is coming up next week. Um, I have another one coming up for how to find cheaper scrubs or, you know, shop around for scrubs. Just don't, you don't have to buy figs. You don't have to buy these expensive scrubs because they're expensive. And just starting out, you want to look cute. You want to, you know, have a nice style to your scrubs and, um, but you don't want to break the bank. I mean, you're just coming out of school. You don't want to wear the same scrubs you wore in school. And so I have a couple ideas for that. So that video is coming. So just stick around. Like, I'm planning a girl, girl's trip. That's exciting. Um, we're going to do the coast of California. I'm so excited. Um, and so, yeah, like, I'm going to take you guys on that. So I just want this channel to be... You guys are my girlfriends, my boyfriends, well, you know, male friends, and just like come along, girlfriends, male friends, we just gonna hang out, have fun. But, anyways, let's get into this video. Just a few questions. First question is like, um, when you travel, does the pay per diem, hourly salary, hour, hourly salary? and your like stipend for food, your hotel or your room, cost of travel, is that all like within your hourly pay? Um, it is not, your hourly pay is different or not different. Your hourly pay is your hourly pay. Your stipend is your stipend for your home and they pay for your travel to and from your location of wherever you may traveling to, wherever you travel to. Um, and they also will pay for your housing and they also will give you a per diem. So everything is separate, but they might give you it in a package as far as like, oh, here's $4,000 and this is how it's all broken up. Um, and and $4,000 is just a number I just threw out there don't stick me to that or don't, you know, that's not stuck like glue, but that's just an example. You know, the company might say, Hey, here's 4,000 and your hourly rate may be 45. Your per diem rate will be, um, will be, 
uh, $50 a day and your salary for your home would be, or not salary, but your stipend for your home would be $2,300 um, and, you know, what have you. So it breaks down like that. Um, but it's so easy if you're interested in traveling. Like I said, I have three companies down below that I trust that I've worked with personally. Um, and you could always call them. They're great. You could fire, you know, quick fire questions to them. They'll answer your questions. You don't have to be signed up with them. They will respond. They'll answer the phone. You could talk to them. Um, just ask for the sonographer traveling agent and they'll dispatch you or transfer you over. Um, the other question was, do you know how, do you have to know how to type to be an ultrasound tech? No, you don't. Um, I'm right-handed and the machine is on my left-hand side. So I'm typing with my left hand and I'm scanning with my right. And so, no, to answer your question, you do not know how to, uh, you don't know how, blah, 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 blah. you do not have to know how to type at all. You could peck and you can not even know a keyboard, but you will know one by the time you become that ultrasound tech. You will know how to scan with your left hand. You will know how to scan with your right hand. You will be able to know the keyboard. So don't stress off of that. Um, the other question was, do you have to know math? And you just, math is not a requirement for ultrasound. Physics is a requirement for ultrasound. And when I say math is not a requirement, they might have, if you're taking this in a college-based atmosphere, such as a four-year, a two-year, um, and I say two-year, like a, like a community college, um, they might have prerequisites for Algebra 1 or Algebra 2, um, but you don't have to do like trigonometry, calculus, you don't have to know none of that. If you know how to add, divide, subtract, and as well as, um, what else is there? <laughs> Multiplication. If you know how to do any of those things, you will be fine. Um, I am not a math mathematician. I am not. However, I do enjoy algebra because I get it. Like when I say I get it, um, I look at it like a formula and if you just follow the steps then your answer should be correct and, and I know certain things like if YouTube YouTube is YouTube University I heard that said the other day I'm like you are never not telling the truth like that is absolutely right YouTube is a university and when I say that is because you could go in there and learn anything anything you want and so when my kids have questions about algebra or a word problem. I'm like, search it up on YouTube, look at a video, follow the steps. And that's what physics is. Like you might have F equals frequency equals wavelength over whatever the case may be. I can't think of none right now. But um, if you know how to follow the formula, it's just literally in Edelman's Edelman is a resource that teaches physics and does a lot of um, physics. What is it? Conferences that he'll tell you in a minute, like there's no math on the physics test whatsoever. You won't even know some um, the one that I went to. He says that you uh, just have to know the formulas. Um, and the formulas is you'll learn that in school. So don't stress off of that. You don't have to know math before you enter, phys enter ultrasound at all. Um, math is not a requirement for physics, for ultrasound. Um, you don't even do math in a day-to-day -day basis. Now, that's math. There are conversions where you have to take a centimeter and change it over to millimeters. So if you have one centimeter and you just kind of move the decimal, it's 10 millimeters. So it's that's the conversion of what you have to do, millimeters to centimeters or centimeters to millimeters. 
um, a lot of doctors like CBDs, common bile ducts measured in millimeters. It's just, it's that simple. You don't have to worry about like conversions. If you're a nurse, like when I was a nurse, um, a medical assistant, we had to know like the conversion for, for medicine. That was a little bit more trickier than just millimeters to centimeters, centimeters to millimeters. You don't have to stress about that. Um, so I wanted to point that out as well as the other question was, do you, can you travel, um, outside the United States? Absolutely. It just depends on if that location or whatever location you're looking for is with those travel companies. So say I was working with med staff or med travelers and they had a, they did not have a position in Guam or the Philippines or, you know, overseas somewhere. Um, and they didn't have one, then I could not travel there. But if they did have one, then I could by all means submit my application and see if I am a good fit for that position. And if I am, then they'll set up all the arrangements, travel arrangements, passports. You have to have a passport, um, and birth certificate, the whole nine yards. But yeah, absolutely, it's not a problem at all. The other question was, how can I um, gain more registries? And if you're just a general abdomen sonographer and that's the only registry you have, you could go back and get your OB, you could go back and get your breast, you could go back and get your neurosynology. You could go back and get your RVT. You could go back and get your cardiac. The only thing is, is that you, after school, you are able to take your SPI. And if you're not able to take your SPI, then you have to work for a whole year before you take your SPI. Or you could take your ARRT or your CCI, and that will qualify you for your ARDMS. Now, with me saying that, because I know I'm in a good question and I'm not gonna answer it here, but if I get that question, I'll do another video. Um, the ARDMS has the SPI, that's your physics. So they wanna know, make sure that you understand the whole ultrasound concept of how the machine works, the machine breaks down, how the tissue is, you know, um, if, it, if it's harmful for the tissue, what rate do you use, things like that, hertz, megahertz, that's how physics is broken down and they want to make sure you know that information. That's the SPI. Now, I want to take, say I check that one off. I got my SPI, I'm working in a facility or I'm shadowing someone and I want to take my abdomen and breast. Well, ARGMS has set it up to where there's a um, CV form, certificate of verification form, meaning that a registered tech, I would have had to either scan in front of this person or they would have seen me do X amount of, um, on my last, on my last video, I popped it up, X amount of, um, X amount of, of abdomen scans, or I think it's like 50. I'll double check that, but, um, I'll pop it up here on the screen of how many scans you have to do or be cleared or checked off of um, from in order for you to take your ARDMS in abdomen. Now, once you say, it, say it's 50 exams, you did your 50 exams, someone certified, signed off, and now you submit that CV form to the ARDMS and then they'll say, hey, you approved and then you'll sit down for your ARDMS. Now, um, for your abdomen, if you wanna get more, that's the only thing you have to do is to get checked off on each modality. And once you get checked off on each modality, then you're able to submit that to ARDMS and you're able to take those boards. So it's not, a, you do not have to go back to school. Let me say that again. You do not have to go back to school. All you have to do is make sure that someone on the job is allowing you to scan enough breast, enough vascular studies, enough um, neonatal heads, enough musculoskeletal work, things like that where you just keep track of your exams that you're doing and just get it signed off. And after, say, if it was me and I signed off on it and 
you after the moment that I sign off on it, I believe you have 90 days or 60 days. I'll double check that as well. Put that on the screen. I think you have 30 to six, 30 to 90 days to use that form to take the boards. And you don't have to take the boards, but you got to so you got to submit it to ARDMS within 30 to 90 days. I'll make sure I put that on the screen of how much, of how many months it actually takes. Um, but yeah, like you do not, and I mean, you do not have to go back to school. Please don't go back to school. If your school is offering you vascular, cardiac, and abdomen, and OB, take all of it, take all of it. I know it might take an extra six months or extra year. It's all worth it in the end. Um, I mean, the time is gonna fly by anyways, but you'll be more like accessible to companies and you'll be able to be more like marketable for yourself and get you out there and start working. Um, and the job may not come right after graduation. Believe me, I was a fluke. There's many flukes out there. However, don't give up. Don't give up. Like, this is your dream. Just because you get a no from someone and doesn't mean that a yes is not going to come. Um, I definitely, truly believe that. Like, if you want this bad enough, do not stop at the first no or the second one, or the third one. Keep going, keep going, because you will get a yes, and you will find that job. And like I said before, if the job is only paying you 25 to $30 an hour, take it, take it, don't be picky. And when I say don't be picky, is because that job is going to catapult you into the where you want to be. You're, you're using that job for your skills and also for your your um, experience. Like, come on. I know somebody right now who is teeter-tottering on the fact, like, should I take this job or should I not? Take the job. Well, it's only going to be about this amount of money. Take the job. Like, you don't have a leg to stand on, as my mom would say. And a pot. <laughs> you don't have to play. <laughs> A place to piss and place to pour it. Um, because, like, come on. You you have your hands in the lion's mouth. And when I say that, it's like, you have to crawl before you can walk. And if this job is offering $25, $30 an hour, then why wouldn't I take that? Because that job there, that experience, is going to get me that $45 to $50. So, and it's only for a year and a half to two years. You don't have to stay there forever. But when you're there, utilize it. If they're doing vascular exams, do vascular exams. If they're doing neonatal heads, do neonatal heads. If they're working in the ICU, if they're doing trauma, do all of it. OB, abdomen, perinatology. I have never worked with a perinatologist in an office, but I was I have been able to work with a perinatologist in a hospital and me and her was like this like i found things and you know and i would like call her like hey i think you really need to see we had that you know that relationship where i said hey this is what i'm seeing i think that you it would you know behoove the patient to come see you and she would set it up like we had that rapport and i absolutely loved working alongside of her in that hospital um because we just we worked really good together but after you know now 20 years into this i could say i have touched every modality and i'm marketable i'm marketable like i had an interview the other day and i'm always interviewing fyi because i feel like um one you could always learn no matter how old you get and two, you want to stay fresh for the changing times. And so I interviewed with the RVT um, doctor the other day, vascular surgeon the other day, and vascular is not where my heart is, but if I'm gonna be doing vein mappings and claudications of, you know, 
like varicose veins and strippings and things like that. Why wouldn't I want to go experience that? Why why not? I mean, that's under my belt. That's more I'm I'm making my resume look really good. So, um I'm not sure if I'll take it. I'm not sure. If he if if he offers it, I'm not sure if I'll take it, but I just I I'm 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 considering it. And I say I'm not going I might not take it. That's only because I'm not sure what the preacher holds and I don't know where God wants me to be, but I did interview and I did, you know, put my put it out there. So we'll see. But um this video is really long, so I'm going to end it here. If you guys have any questions, I will answer them in the next video even if I'm cooking or what have you. So I will see you guys later. Bye. Oh, yeah, real fast. If you have not hit that subscribe button, what are you waiting for? Come on, join the family. It's great over here, I'm telling you. Bye, you guys. Can't get enough of